All right, guys, we are officially back in the building, entertained, feeling good. It's a beautiful Tuesday here in uh, Upper Co, Maryland. And uh, we got a special guest, a true OG. First off, let's let's intro Ronnie. We all know Ronnie. Say something to I'm people. Ronnie. Nice to, nice to see you guys again. Hope Happy you guys had a swell here, week. Hope you guys had a swell week. Um, yes, I, I had a good week as well. Thank you for asking. What did you say, Marla? I was just happy to have you here. Oh, thank you, Marla. I appreciate um, it. Pranel McPhee. <laughs> guys, special guest. Pranel McPhee, tell us something. Uh, tell us something about you, man. Today is about you. So please share something, um, anything. I'm from Pahokee, Florida. Pahokee. I only played one year high school football. Mm, I didn't know that. Why is that? Why is that? Because I was into the streets. You was into Street the streets? Street. <laughs> I went no bad guy. Just was I, into, you, we know. sound like you was you a bad no guy, bad bro. Guy. Uh, being in the streets don't mean you're a bad guy. It's just Definitely true. not. True. You almost close to a product of your environment, which that ain't 100%. the case with me. But my environment growing up was the streets. Born and raised in Pageant Island. That's a project. And throughout my little city, we had different streets. Um, different projects, and we had streets that where people go up to, up up. They call it uptown. You go uptown, you buy your drugs, you go back to your project. Uh, you go uptown, you need the grocery shop. That's where all the stores at. And uh, we have Future Hall of Famer from there in Quan Bolden. We have a Hall of Famer that um, Ricky Jackson, and we right outside the Glaze area where all from that one town. Yeah. Oh, wow. And we from the Glaze area where Fred Taylor, Rita, Rita Anthony, Santonio Holmes, <laughs> Kevin Benjamin, Travis Benjamin, you know, all of us came from that area. And of course, um, from Pahokee, who actually in the lead right now is Janaris Jenkins and me. But we also had Bill Bentley. He was second round in Detroit 2013. Um, and Torrance Smith, he was like the number one running back. Coming out the country in the 03. But yeah, football is in our blood down there, by the way. That's South Florida, you said? South Florida, home of the rabbit chasers and gator hunters. Yeah, mm. that's let's since, since you brought it up. Florida makes yeah. Florida not produces. as good as Bama? Uh Florida would you say what we nah, like Florida, 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 okay, y'all, y'all, Florida yeah. produces, bro. Yeah, it, bro, Florida's big. Florida's a big state and it's warm. I'm saying just South Florida. And it's warm. South Florida alone produces some of the best it's athletes, warm. bro. It's crazy. Dude, we got we got some athletes. I mean, I think it's in the world. I mean, if you look at the culture down there, it just it ain't no set culture to me. Like you go to Alabama, you get your old tradition, you know, culture. You get, you know, you go to New York, you get your, your northern culture. You go to the South, Cal- I mean, to the West Coast, to California, you get your Western culture. If you go down South Florida. It's like a, um, what's the word I could say? A melting pot. Melting pot. Mm. Yeah, it's like got different type of cultures. You got your Mexicans, your Puerto Ricans. Cuban. Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban. True. Whatever you want to name. I'm Bahamian and Indian, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know how that mix. That's a good point. You Indian? Yeah, my great-grandma, yeah, she Indian. That boy's the Indian. It's Cherokee. All right, so since you brought it up, because I was going to ask you about that. This offseason... I went rabbit hunting with a gun, of course. What else? Shotgun. Oh, okay. <laughs> but where this guy's from? <laughs> yeah. Talk to us. Talk to us. I'll be to chasing us. them boys. No, you can't take no 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 gun in the rabbit field um, at all, unless you got a little twenty two for the for the alligators. Because sometimes we chase rabbits with our hands and we hunt them with our hands, and sometimes we have our stick. Because if you come across a cottontail, them the ones with the white tails, they kind of fast and. And they got more mobile than a, than a regular rabbit. Like, they could move, change the direction. It's very different. Mm. And a lot of guys where I'm from used to use that to train themselves for football. Like, go out there in the summer or uh, football season over with in November. I mean, well, December. Rabbit season start late December, early January. So, people go out there and train. Train for... um um. What's the, it ain't it ain't off-season program. I've been in the league so much. But, you know... um. Jammery game, mm. y'all play Jammery game. Yep, so we yep. train ourselves for Jammery games by going out rabbit hunting, chasing uh, rabbits. So um, what's Jammery games? Never you like didn't do the Jammery. It's like no. a preseason in high school. Yeah, oh, it's never, only like one. I don't have that where I'm from. Never yeah. heard of that. I guess that's it's a, a south preseason. Thing. Maybe that's a south thing. Yeah. Maybe it's south thing. Yeah. Did y'all okay. do? A pre- did y'all do a game before the main game, or just y'all's first game was just that was just the first game. I think we did do one game before the the main season. Yeah, we just caught it. Y'all ain't do like a game like 
right before school ended or something. Oh, we did this. We had the spring game. Spring game. Spring game. Nah, spring game. nah, we didn't have a spring game. Nah. Y'all don't do spring ball at all? We did spring ball, but we didn't have a spring game. I just practice. Yeah. 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 But chasing rabbits, we, it went only just um, for football. That, that was the way we ate, too, because we didn't have stores there. And, and when you actually enter our town, it's a our land is our fortune because you actually could, could take any kind of seed there and grow because it's it's all mud. So that's where all of the sugar cane fields at. Like if you go to Pahokee Bear Glade, you could drive almost two, three hours and you'll see nothing but sugar cane fields. So that's where a lot of sugar get produced from. So, but in our little small community, it wouldn't, it's no restaurants um, at all. No franchise restaurants. Um, you maybe have them corner stores that sell burgers in the back, but we ain't too much deal with that. So what we did was we used to go hunt rabbits. Some guys go catch 75, 80 rabbits in a day. Sometimes they, they'll sell them for two dollars, <laughs> contests for four, and we'll store the rest to eat. So that was kind of you know fun, unique. Cause I actually moved to the city in the ninth grade, and it was kind of way different for me because I got tucked out of my environment and put in another environment, and I was like, "Wait, y'all spoil? Like we go hunt our food? Like we we actually hunt gators for a living? Like we go by the dish bank, see a gator? Okay." Kill the gator, take the gator, clean the gator. We eat the gator the same night. Might eat the gator the whole week, even with the rabbits. And when you move to, uh, when I moved to West Palm Beach with my mom, uh, it was kind of crazy because you get to go to McDonald's, Burger King, KLC, Popeyes, and I'm like, it's a whole different way of life. Whole different way of life, man. Maybe maybe that's why with some of the savages, you know, that we see come from the south. Just how many? How many are rabbits? You was out there catching rabbits? Nah. Ah, I mean, you tried. Ah, Did you try? I tried a lot, but I, I feel like I gotta try now. It's so gotta be how, part of how, my rehab. How, what was your size? What was your size back then? What? What size? Slimmer. What shoes? More, pants? No, like oh. running. Like were you tall? Like you are now? Oh, yeah, you, I was. I was a slim <laughs> cat, uh, especially come when I was younger. It's crazy. I was like short and chubby. Then we moved to West Palm Beach, and I can't run the streets no more. Like, I just grew overnight. It was, like, from ninth grade to 11th grade, like, I grew, like, four inches. Like, I was real short and chubby. Then I just went to growing, and it was just crazy. Wow. But, yeah, I went, I went no big rabbit chasing. My cousin, them, they, they used to come get me, and, and they were so competitive. They'll come back with 25, 30 rabbits. I only got two. So I just stopped going. Like every time I go, y'all come back with twenty rabbits. I got two. I stopped going. And I just started being in the streets, and <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, um, I thought this was interesting. You told me the other day, your first what three years in the league, where you was living at in the off season. Oh, I was living in a project. With my <laughs> great grandma. That's interesting. And I think if they would have never kicked us out in 2018, I probably would have still been living there with my wife, being married. They kicked y'all out? Well, they they, they tore well, them they, down? They, they kind of uh, told my grandma she had to move out the project. Oh, they relocated people? Yeah, yeah they did that. In, uh, really? For what? Birmingham too. Well, I think they were just, for one, I know we live, I don't know who might hear this one day, but I'm going to just say it anyways. I think they kicked out because of me. Really? Because I I had reached a success that many people in my neighborhood haven't never reached. I was an easygoing person. I could communicate with anybody. I never got in any trouble, so it, it brought a lot of people around me. Like, say, for instance, if we pull up in the projects, I'm from the projects. Of course, people who know me and grew up with me going to come out there. And that started happening, and then I started giving away book bags giveaways and I started doing 4th of July events and then it went from that to the people who own the projects wanted money to me that's what I feel wow yeah and I wasn't giving them no money right you wanted to give it to the to the people well all of a sudden your grandma need to move your grandma need a house right right I'm like what and then before my grandma moved we was doing this 4th of July project like every 4th of July and Christmas I was doing this this project where kids come out Free food, hundreds of kids. They just stopped us. And they ain't stopped us by telling us. They stopped us by calling the police and be like, oh, you can't have this no more. Wow. So that wasn't, there were there were no good intentions. 
Yeah, nah. They weren't trying to like say, hey, do this the right way. They were just trying to shut you down. Yeah, especially when I went giving them no money. Yeah. And when I went giving them jerseys. I mean, the jerseys was easy, but I was still. It was just why. Yeah, it was. It was just. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of sad. Just, you know. A lot of some people like that. Don't be like, don't be that guy. That's that. Please don't. Don't be that guy. But yeah, it's great. Great being with your grandmas, though. Great grandma. That's that's another. That's a whole nother blessing. Yep. I you was know, just being around. All right, Kevin, give us a story about. Uh, I kind of forgot what it, the story was. I got a story for you. So there's this PSG women's soccer player. And she's second string. PSG is like this team in Paris. It's a tier one team. Is that, like that's the one team. Messi's on. Yes, it's the one Messi's on. But the women's team. I'm talking about the women's team, team, team now. Yeah. And she's second string. She paid two guys to break her leg, the, her teammate's leg. Oh, so crap. she, so she, <laughs> yeah, not her, her own leg, her teammate's leg, so she could take her spot. Bro, that happened in a movie with some ice skaters, I think. Um, Dang, that's cold. That's wait, crazy. how did she get caught? What, what movie? Get- Blaze of Glory? What? No, no, it was in a, it was in a chick movie. Some. Mother, I think, pay mother Blaze was real hard glory, on the daughter. I think it happened. Mother was real hard on the daughter. Pay the daughter, paid somebody to break this other girl's leg or nose or something messed up, so her daughter could wooty woo. But MSG, how did she get caught? I I have no idea how she got caught. I'm pretty sure the did it work? No. Oh, no. he got caught before it even. Yeah, I think I think the whole thing. I probably the guys that were decided that we're going to do it probably got talked out of it. Maybe the girl says she'll pay her more. Maybe, you know, there, there's a lot of things wonder, that could, it, that could have happened. I mean, how know? much bread does she really have to offer? Enough. Fee, is, it worth it? is it worth it? No, Fee? no, right, that, just, that just means you're sure. sorry. Sure. That just means you're sorry. I mean, she's still a pro. She in second team. Second team she, or MSG? You know, a lot of pros that, you know, I mean, I'm not saying and, you need to do that, but I'm just saying you, you can't, if you got to go sorry. that far, you're sorry in my book. I ain't gonna say sorry. You you a sore loser. You're sorry. I ain't <laughs> sorry. What, what part you speaking on? That she got the teammate legs broke, or that, that you she would just even get on the field without that? No, that she would that she would even go to that length. But that don't mean you're sorry though. It means you're sorry that you yeah. think that you think you can't outdo her on the field. That you need to break her leg. What if she's just like that though? What if she just like uh, like? Just, what if the coach just like her better than? Whoa, whoa. Bro, you just got to be so good they can't. Say none, bro. Uh, what if, yes. like, you a kicker and Justin Tucker in front of you? So you just got to come to terms that he better than you. Yeah, but then you never going to play. She get better. You, or go somewhere else. Maybe she that, she had a... Yeah. Look, I ain't saying she right. I ain't get saying, better or go somewhere else. Means. I'm just... Yeah, I'm just being a devil's advocate. As I know. A, it's okay. As much as we say. always need a devil's as advocate. Alejandro I'm never going to be mad about it. Um, dang, but... So she got... I wonder how much she paid him. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I uh, I don't know, bro. It was enough, dude. Not enough. They sound like they snitched. Clearly, wasn't. They probably enough. did. They probably did snitch. Man, go. My, my dog is currently breaking in the house. <laughs> found out how Let to him get in, the, bro. Found out how to get the doors. Where's um, where Snowflake at? Um. Okay. All right. What do you know about the? What do you know about cryptocurrency, Pernell McPhee? I don't know nothing about cryptocurrency. Fee, what would you call, consider yourself? What do I call? Old school guy. New school. Clearly not a new school guy. You you OG. You OG. You trying to learn the way. You you trying to adapt. You kind of like, man, I'm good in my space. Ooty woo, ooty woo. Uh, I, I consider myself both. Okay. And I could tell you why. Talk to me. Um, the reason why I consider myself old school because like I just think that's my person. That's really not my personality. Um, it's just who I was raised. It's up like with. your soul. Yeah, I yeah, know what you mean. Yeah, it's like yeah, it, it's definitely my soul. And it, it was the old I was soul. raised by older people. Like like I, I was raised with my grandma and my great grandma in the house. So I would say that's more my old school. But I kind of got new school too because I I I, I kind of like. Um, some of the things the new the new people bring in the environment that I don't give a damn attitude. Yeah, um, yeah. I think that's kind of um, very interesting to me these yeah. days because the more I see it, the more I get like it. 
and and I think that's what the world turning to. And I think um, new school too, because I like to adjust to certain things. Like, um, for as when guys wear they clothes, like I like to wear suits to the game, away games. Like every away game, I wear a suit. These new school guys, I like when they wear they regular clothes, like me. Yeah, I like <laughs> I what they I, have on they. I'm a regular actually, hoodie guy. I actually don't. You don't don't you like the suits. You don't I like think, when I think away game. Like, oh, well, I'll say this. Ah, uh, well, well, I don't know. I'm talking with like one game we seen. Like, I don't know. It's weird because we I went to Bama, so at like at Bama we would we had to wear a suit every game, right? Mm-hmm. Even home games, we would have to put on a suit to walk across the street to eat dinner. At a home game, to eat dinner. But, but can I to say this? Dinner. That that but it make you put you in a mindset. That puts you in the business it's a mindset. Business trip. It's a business that's, trip. That's why I think taking out the um, the suits going on away game is the worst mistake the NFL could make because it don't have guys in the business. When you put on that suit, for some reason, it's like. Business. It's business. Like when you got your regular clothes on, you just really just relax. Your mind just relax. Yeah, you're right. Like your mind just lolly dolly. Like when you got on that suit, bro, you get on that plane, like it's somebody. It's like it give you that business mindset and you gonna approach things like like a business. I don't know why the NFL taking that away. I don't know, bro. I, I kind of have to disagree with you there, brother. Yeah, I don't always wear a suit. But I just feel I, like I, I usually wear nice clothes. If I'm in a suit, my mindset is, especially if like I'm traveling, only thing I'm thinking about is, man, I'm uncomfortable. Why don't you get a comfortable seat? <laughs> you know, there's no suit I want to sit in for. You don't feel clean in a plane, okay? For any length amount of time, yeah. But you, but now you don't have to wear it on the plane, though. But I'm saying, I, I just don't but, know. But this is this is kind of what to do when you when you wear just some sweats and a hoodie. Yes, that's a grab put in your bag. When yes. you gotta wear a suit It's like okay Let me think about this I'm going somewhere But that's what I'm do, saying bro The more do, 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 thought do, 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 I'm gotta, putting into Like what I'm wearing I mean you don't gotta That's more, that much, that's but more just, attention I'm putting on something That really isn't gonna Help me play Some people it might Like what you're saying If it puts you in that mindset That's fine But if For me personally Like I'm more focused On literally the game I could show I could literally I wish I could walk in With like a pair of shorts a Tank top Flip flops Cause I'm Going to the beach. I'm <laughs> my, the field's my beach. Though. One game I was sitting there, I'm seeing guys walk in. Boys had on look like they had on swim trunks. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it don't, I don't know. But I don't it know. don't look good. To but me, I don't though. know. I'm not trying to look good though. That's the but thing. I don't not, care about. It's looking like you walk good. to a job interview. Would you? Walk I'm not in there going into the interview though. I'm going into. I'm going into the the. Your job? No, no, no. no. Your this job? Is, I, I'm not even yeah, going into you, the. You always going into your job. I'm, I'm, well, I am going into my job, right? But I'm going into like a competitive environment where, <clears> where, <throat> where, where what I look like has zero weigh in on what I'm gonna do in in this That's job. False. Every what you look like have everything to do with. I that could job. look like a bum and I'll still lock someone up. It don't matter. You could look like a bum. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it yeah. don't matter how you look, bro. As I'm saying from an really alignment standpoint, matter, you do. have to have this it mentality. Because, really bro, you're talking about, I went through college forced to wear knee braces, bro. You're never going to look good wearing two knee braces ever, but, no matter what you do. No matter what you do, that's you're that's not going to look safety, good wearing though. two knee braces. You have to get over the fact that you're going to look good and you just have to be good. The knee braces is a safety thing, though. It is, but you look terrible. You look yeah, so unathletic, the, brother. That's zero the, way to look good with two knee everyone's braces. Wear, everyone in college zero wears zero way braces. to look like you're a baller oh, wow. but everyone with wears two them. knee braces. Everyone, because you're ha- you have to. Most of those guys in college have to. Yeah, of course. But in the league, you don't. That's why guys yeah. can look different because they could care less. If you get hurt, they ain't gonna move on. In but college, I'm saying, they, I they, really don't it's think it's more controlling. Of course. Uh, yeah, I really don't think those knee braces do a whole lot, honestly. I mean, well, all these coaches think so. I mean, I don't. Not that I'm saying it does, but I know Bama had to do it. I mean, I feel like all the top schools have to. I know, but I honestly. Like, do you got? Did you have to give us ankle? But state I'm saying too? there's zero, yeah, I got my ankle state, but I'm saying there's zero there's zero uh, way to look good. I, I think it has zero weight on what you're going to do at your job. But you're talking about two because I think we're, we're when you're talking about our job. Our job is literally. It's a physical thing. It's not like we're going into like a, a debate or like we're going in as a lawyer that we need to present ourselves in a certain way to to appease to a jury, to appease to a judge. We're going in here to physically say I'm better than you and you can't beat me. 
I don't care what I look like. I could have two different gloves on, two different cleats on. You can bring I'm still football, clamp you up. You it don't matter. That's how I always go in into it. Like a guy can look like a beast across. It don't matter to me. It shouldn't matter. I feel like it plays into a mindset too, though, where like you go on the field and you see someone, they might look like a beast. You'll be like, oh shit, this guy looks this way. So I'm going to, I'm putting into my mind. Okay. He's a beast. No matter what. He looks like Talk a beast. I, don't, I ain't never done like that. You can NFL. see somebody in a suit, and then you see somebody in some regular clothes. You could be like, "Oh, he mean more business." But that's what I'm saying. I think that's the that's the that's the that's the lie that we kind of assume that just so because someone is dressed well. I've met so many. We have this talk about scam artists. So the scam artist thing is like they want to look like the guy instead of be the guy. So you in the NFL, so, you're that guy you, for the most no, part. I'm not, yeah, of course. We're talking about, I'm not talking about us. I'm just talking about like in anything in business. Like we're talking about, we just see two guys on the street. You see a guy in a suit and a guy in a hoodie and some shorts. You think this guy is the business guy. He's the big brain guy. But that guy might be the billionaire tech mobile that you just think he's no one because he just dresses comfortable. But he ain't dressing comfortable like that all the time. But I'm, I'm saying, I think now that we were talking about, people were saying like, we don't care. We don't give a give a F whatever about uh, like <laughs> whatever people think. I think that's definitely become the more mindset amongst uh, successful individuals saying like in certain cases, yes, like you want to be dressed professionally. If you're, if you're in one of those white collar jobs, of course. But if you're like, I look at our, our job as, as a pure blue collar job. You know what I mean? We're here to do work with our hands and our feet. We're not here to like show up and like out popular someone or out like, which people try to That's do. They the try to like out talk. To? They, they, they try to out hype themselves over the other person. I've seen that a lot. Like they'll try to out hype themselves where they think like they're going to do something because they're hyping themselves so up so much, but it's tough for them to do it when they just, it doesn't match what they're, they're doing, but it's not with everyone. Like when I see you out there, Fee, I'm like, you, the way you get hype, your physicality matches what you're, the hypeness you're getting to, you know what I mean? But not everyone, and not everyone matches their hypeness with their play. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's the same thing with where you dress. You can dress so well, but if you're not matching that with, if you're not playing as well as you dress, then does it really matter? Yeah. I think it do. Yeah. It's just, so you can dress. Look, 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 you can dress this is, this is great all, every game this is, and get. You this, not. You not get body though. This, just because you dress well. Anybody get body. It just depends anybody on, get body. No, anyone can like, get body. I'm you get body. On a you consistent get, basis. You get, are you are you producing yeah. you what get, you should based off how you're dressing? You get body, no, I don't and mean, then you man. walk out of stadium. Like, is there really a correlation there? Because I feel like for me, if that was the correlation. I wouldn't be good at all. I don't really dress to impress. Marshall Yana didn't dress to impress. You know, what he would saying? wear some jeans coming. He wore some game. jeans and a normal shirt, like exactly. a regular shirt. Like that. That's yeah. all. That's all I'm getting at. Everyone can. At oh, least I thought put you were talking about. So you need worst. jeans on. Everyone can at least throw some jeans on. Not walking there with flip flops and some swim. Well, you know we can't walk in with flip flops. You know that's what? not a. That's a rule. I'm bro, saying I'm I wish telling I could you, do you, it. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't change, bro. I it wish changed, I could do it. It changed a lot even from my rookie year. I because feel like you know my what? rookie year, I feel like Harvard, was, I mean, we were a little more strict. Like, I used to run the whole league. But I know, but the whole uh, league was because way you know more. what I feel like, what you're talking about, the suit, the uniform, like, I feel like when I put that on, that's my pads and my jersey and my pants. Like, that suit you're talking about, that is my suit. Like, I put on my jersey, I'm putting on my jacket. You know, I'm putting on my blazer. I'm putting on my trousers, whatever. Putting on my dress shoes with the cleats. That's the suit that I'm I'm waiting to put on. Everything else before that's just like everybody got to wear that though. I just, that's what I'm saying. Pants. Everyone got to wear a suit to their job. That's our suit. We used to have everybody used to have to wear a suit. No, I know, but I feel like it really. It's a psychological mindset that you're not even realize that you that you do. I feel like it's a placebo effect though. I don't even much know what placebo means. <laughs> it means like it's in your own head, like you're making it up in your own head. Kind of like people- I'll just say this. I mean, I you we clearly disagree. But if I was a coach, you gotta at least wear something. Like you ain't gotta wear our suit, but you at least throw some jeans on. Like, yeah, I think that's our rule though. I think people have to no, wear pants, no, right? In the league is not the rule. It's not the rule. We you can wear anything now. you want to wear now. I really don't think it's a it shouldn't be like a competition or but it's not a competition. I know I see so you you make it seem like you're trying to be the I'm not saying you need he ain't saying you don't have to be the cleanest person. You can get a basic suit that costs a hundred dollars. 
But it's still you still. Okay. My looking question is, what nice. purpose is it doing? You're just looking. It looks like you had to at least take it's professionalism. A minute. That's professionalism. How, that's, yeah, that's what it looks. But like, like I said, should coal miners have to go to? Go to go to their job in suits Why and then get in their NFL uniforms. Players are cold, cold they were, that's our uniform. The pad and the jersey is our uniform. But should they have Everyone to show to up? Should, we are, we're we a blue are. collar job. Why are you bro? comparing I'm NFL not. players to coal miners? I'm not, because I'm not. we're blue collar. They're, they're, that's a bro, blue collar job. Blue collar, You're trying to say bro. we're like a we're white a collar job collar. where we have to show up in a suit and be all professional. No, bro, we're only here to get our hands dirty. Why you wore a suit to the draft? Why wear a suit to the draft? Because it was an event. It was an event. If I go to a wedding, if I go to something, I'm going to go wear a suit. If I was at the NFL Honors, I wore a suit. Why'd you get a nice suit? Why you because it's an suit? event. It's a nice event. You it's not my look, job. It's not my job. You it's an event. Clean. You were signing. That was the last part of your job interview. <laughs> Was it not? Was it, no. It wasn't? No, bro. That was the last one of your job interview. No, the interview was over. The draft. I was, that, that, that was my was results. I was getting you my results. You should have walked in there with some gym shorts on, a hoodie, and talking about this. Yeah, man, what's up? It was bro, results man. day. Give me, I got dragged by the rain. I'm out of here. <laughs> it was results day, bro. That wasn't job. That wasn't, that wasn't no interview. I'm just saying. You should have. Hey, fast forward, what, six years ago? Don't even want to I don't get mad when you guys be wearing suits, though. Like, I, I feel like that's great if you guys want to wear suits, but I don't think you should get mad if I don't wear. I ain't saying I'm getting mad. If I'm in a hoodie and some pants. It's terrible. Some normal shoes. <laughs> see, I'm not saying you have to wear a suit. I'm Are you? Wait, wait, wait. You fee, fee, fee. So you're saying if you see me walking like this, you say for the past couple years, you've seen me walk in the locker room looking like this. And have you just thought yourself, man, Ronnie's not going to play good. No, no, I never did. No, I, I know who you was. That's what I'm saying. But I also thought me, in my head. I have been in the locker room. What else? Wait, wait, wait. I thought in my head, if I ever seen Runny in a suit, ooh, <laughs> that person across from him in trouble. In yeah, exactly. Yeah. You like that, you like that, you like that man. That suit right there. When, it, I, when I wear like that suit, same. sometimes I put on a suit. for. I got certain games, I'm like, but when I wear that suit, I got a ball. That's you really how I be ball. Thinking. Isn't Sometimes. that just like when you go get a shape up a lineup? Why you just don't let your shit be raggedy since this is a blue, blue collar? But job? I'm saying, have you never got a shape up or lineup and not played to your best? Like I said, that. that's See, what I'm you, saying. No, you, you but I'm saying, I've got, you, I've got a haircut before, and maybe my game wasn't the best game. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not gonna have a determining factor on how I play. No, but it mean you mean business. That's all. Like this, <laughs> but I think, I think. But what you're saying is, it's all mental. That suit changes something in you mentally where it means business. But that's also to say is you can do that on your own. You don't need the suit to make that switch. But the suit is like a is like a switch. It's like it's something that helps you flip that switch. I need the suit. I can't even. That's what I'm saying. I don't need that suit to do I that. I feel like <laughs> all 11 but years. If you, were, you know what I do? I have you to look at, you suit. know what I do? I look at fee. I look at fee in the eyes before the game. <laughs> <laughs> that that switch is flipped right away. So <laughs> I'm saying, I look at me right in the eyes, bro. That see, switch is flipped, and we hit each other head to head. We hit each other head to head, and we go, good shit, bro. Good shit, we ready. We know we ready. We hit each other so hard the first time, and we're like, okay, yep, it's ready. It's ready. There's nothing else I need, bro. Like barbarians. You know why? Because no matter how I dress. I'm gonna get hit like that. I'm gonna get. But if you had that suit on, just then you knock Fee on his tail, but you, bow, Fee be on the ground. Be you like, like, it's cause you wore that suit. No, yeah. no. That's what that Fee be saying. It's cause you wore that suit. Cabin, you wore that bro. suit today. Yeah. Yo, Fee wouldn't even go with your pre game. Wait, 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 wait. So you say we go into that rep and I wore a suit. You're gonna be like, oh, the motherfucker wore a suit today. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He knocked me out. Man. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I wore a suit one time. One time, and I I'm not gonna tell you one time. Balled up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it. And when you wear it, you, you gonna be even thinking about it. You gonna be thinking about it. As soon as I get locker, I'm ripping that bitch off. I ain't wearing it back. Well, when you wear your suit, I only wear it. Oh, you gotta wear it back because no. if we win, if we win, no, if we win, no, 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 no. you know I'm gonna be on the no, line. No. I don't wear no suits back. Bro. I don't wear it. I wear it. We win. I wear it into the game. I don't know how you can sit comfortably with a suit if we're playing. I I one day after I get on ball, if I had to wear a suit every day for my job. I feel good in a suit. So you wear a suit every day. You you don't be like this in no suit, bro. You don't really be chilling. You be kind of just eh, suited up, booted. Ah, let me get ready for it, huh? I got it. 
Yeah. That suit make you feel some type. That's of what I was saying. Okay, what you said. So wait, wait. Like, is like there a you, point in time where you can you could say okay maybe at this point the suit's helping me do this but maybe there's a point <laughs> in the you, may, no, the suit's you superpowers. Helping, this is maybe helping you feel like you need to like tighten up. Maybe you need to like get into a professional mindset. The suit's helping you do this. That's what I'm saying. But Locked maybe in, in the future like, huh. you're saying hey maybe I can train myself to be like this or to get this mindset without having to put a suit on. Maybe I could just. Hey, do you this without the suit. The suit. On, I got a question for you. But I'm saying, then you're always relying on, dang, I can't do this without my suit. But so, the suit, oh, right dude, I can't like play well. I can't play well. I didn't bring my suit today. No one's saying that either. But I'm though. saying, you have to have that suit energy without the suit. What if the suit's not there? You have to bring it why from would within. The suit not be you there? have to bring that energy from like, within. Why would the suit you have to have that there? suit <laughs> energy, bro. Something can happen with the suit, bro. Ain't Every suit, the house burned down. It's, 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 you got no. I know you hear what I'm saying. You have to get it from within. No, I, I agree with you. You have to get it. It has within, to come. Some, some, things can help time. you. Just like pre workout can help you do do certain things. Obviously, I don't tell you pre workout though. Obviously, because where do you get it from? Within that suit. <laughs> Sometimes you don't wear the <laughs> suit. <laughs> That suit. What happens if the suit ain't there okay, one day? About the what suits, happens if the suit ain't there? Where you gonna have to get it from? Unless my house burned down, the suit is gonna be there. What do you mean? <laughs> no, say it's at the hotel, but you left it on the bus and you left it on the plane. The plane took off, and you, it's not there anymore. You don't have your suit. You have to I wear had gym to buy, shorts. I didn't have to buy a shirt last minute though. Oh, another way game. I, I did too. See, look, okay. Man, I just bought a shirt. We flew out Wednesday. I, blew, I bought a shirt on Wednesday. Throw it in the dryer. Knocked out the wrinkles and put it on the wood to the game. Oh, I bought a suit when he was in Philly, I think, one time. All right, Kevin, tell us about this story. I forgot what the story even was, though. Uh, the Major League Baseball, the Guardians? No, the other story. Other story? <laughs> oh, the Florida story. Yes. I, I don't even know the story exactly. Uh, from your spot, Pete. All from your spot. Well, how do you say poke? poke oh, the crypto. Kahoke. The reason why I asked you about crypto, the crypto market crash. <laughs> They're saying it's the next Kahoke. stock market Kahoke. crash, like the 19. When did the stock market crash? 1921. I don't know. Yeah, they're saying that, but I don't think it is, guys. It ain't that bad. Anyway, I'm into cryptos. I think Ron is in the It's not that bad, bro. Right now, McPhee's not into cryptos. Do you have any cryptos? No, yes. You're no. into NFTs, bro. Uh, You're not you even. In it? I got somebody asking me right now. Buy Bitcoin right now while it's down. Yeah. Buy I'm one in Bitcoin. crypto, but not NFT. Wait, you said buy crypto? Buy one Bitcoin. Buy one? Yep. Just get one. Right. I don't, I don't even understand how that works. I never did my research on it or nothing. So once upon a time, I don't even know how it works either. Honestly. <laughs> I have no idea. But I do know I bought a Bitcoin. It was at 30K. Right now? Bought, no, I bought it when it was at 30K. Oh. And doing it like 60 something K. And this was not that long ago. But then there's also coins you can buy and then uh, it's dropped. But. Uh, you know what I'm it's just like, uh, I guess, investing your money. Investing your money in just different space, all avenues. Yeah. It's like you got a power. You got to start. You got maybe your real estate. You got, you know, this. You got this. <laughs> that one piece of power right there is looking right. You know, you don't want to take that last piece of the pie. Sometimes you got to. That's a crypto. <laughs> Kevin, story time. All right. So in South Florida, there's a man who was banging on a woman's door at one in the morning. Um, I'm trying to find more details, but it's kind of hard. All right. Kevin <laughs> blew the bag, guys. <laughs> on another note while he figured that out. This is for you, Fee. Because, guys, let me tell you all something about Pernell McPhee. The reason why I want him on the pod is to get him talking. I want y'all to know a little about Fee. He's a very uh, believe what he believes kind of guy. He's got some interesting <laughs> beliefs. Would you say that's true? All my beliefs come within God. So mm. here we I go. Think so. Here we go. That was that was a very good answer to to that. But that's not what I, I wanted that. to get. That's not what I wanted to hear. But <laughs> but what is? I might give you some time to think. What is a belief? This can be for you, Tyrone, that you have that most people do not. Mm. Like what's something like even something like this as simple as this like me. An, unpop an unpopular opinion. Like macaroni, cheese noodles are, are, are trash. They're just, they're not a good, a good meal. You know, something like that. What's something that you believe is true, dear? I mean, we already have talked about one, I believe, suits. 
So it's like something that might not be. But most, some people believe that. Truly I think accurate. That's not a, it might not be accurate to the 50% of the world, but it's very true to you. I, I got one for you. There it is. There it is. I, and I said this kind of early and Cal kind of say, bro, you need to bring that up. So I'm going to bring it up. I truly believe that success and failure is the same thing. I don't believe anybody could reach success if they haven't failed. And I don't believe nobody could fail if they ain't successful. And I think that that's what I truly believe in my heart because in order to reach some type of success, you got to be in a place where you have failed to start climbing up. In order to fail, you have to know what success is. And then when you lose everything or you ain't got it, you go right back to failure. So I truly believe that success and failure is the same thing. It just us as individual individual humans, we just look at it different. But to me, like you can't be successful without failure, and you can't fail without being successful. Nah, I feel that. I agree. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these failures just straight failures, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but how do you know you can't fail? How but do, how do you know? You he you, said you. He said okay, you can't okay. fail without being okay. a success okay. already. Okay. Okay. You ready? You ready? Everybody knows somebody that tried out for the basketball team. Yeah. And didn't make the team. Right. I'm not saying you're a failure, but in that. Typical sport, you failed. Yeah. Then you, you tried out the next year. You said, "I'm gonna make it this year, Mama." Then you failed again. But then you, you went can't. to high school. Then you failed as a freshman. Then you you didn't make that one. Then you went to JV. You said, "I'm gonna make it this year," and then you failed again. And then you just kept trying to JV. Then you graduated high school, and then you never made it. So I don't know how he succeeded. He just failed continuously. That's a, that's a great point. But at the same time, that person who looking at who, who might be looking at it might be like, well, basketball ain't my sports. I just want to try to be a part of the team. If if I don't make it, that don't mean I ain't failed. And that maybe just means I'm not good enough. And maybe he went on to be the team manager and everyone loved him every single yeah. year. And then they and built then a he, plaque for him and a trophy in his <laughs> honor. And then the lead best person got that trophy named after him. I ain't gonna lie. A coach got to give him the team manager job. If you fail, if you tried out to seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven. That senior year, which each you gotta failure, let them get in. And just shoot there's shot. opportunity for success somewhere else. Man, that's an interesting statement, though, Fee. But I don't know how did that. I do, I do believe. I, I do believe. Saying. I do He's believe. You saying you can't have one without the other? Because yeah. you can have a great year in a successful year, and then all of a sudden, but how do you know it's successful unless you unless had you something have a bad worse? Season. Or you had this great ass game, all of a sudden you ball. Everybody pat you on the back. You don't even know what fail you look like until that next game come. You get and bait. You get Nobody don't want to shake their head. I'm thinking of myself right now. <laughs> and then you get cooked. Oh, this is what I mean. That's but that's that's only we. That's only sports, though. No, that's in that real happens life. in life. All right, let's think about LeBron James. It just happens more LeBron immediate James in ain't sports. Never, never really much failed to the public he, eye, at least. She to the Some public people, eye, nah, bro. He's failed to to the public eye. All, when you're talking about overall, no, but he's had individual failures where he's maybe lost in the finals. He's lost. Uh -huh. I mean, he's I lost conference like, championships. Okay, okay, nobody okay, would okay, never okay. say he failed. Yeah, because overall he's a he's a success, you know. And I think that's what he's saying is like as long as you All have right. more success. Out of sports, out of sports. Let's go business. Let's go. Wait, business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can, are, can I not answer the question? Oh yeah, my fault. Well, we, we were still talking about feet, but yes, if you want to answer, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I am under the firm belief. That there is either a alien species or some other human species living under our ocean floor. Yeah, that's completely cap. The how, pressure's you, too heavy. How do you know that? How do you know another species couldn't handle it? Mm, mm, species mm, is, a, is, a, is a very... You got to be careful because he's saying species. That could be a, a fish, right? That could be a big old fish. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say human, not human. human I'm gonna say, life. I'm gonna say, look, mammals, intelligent, uh, mammals, uh, uh, an intelligent species. Okay, okay. Now, that, now you're talking something different. Whether it be, whether it be interstellar, like, another alien, people that know what's going or, on, or or another version of humans. No, like, that's come before. How long do you mammals. think it's been going on? How do wait? What you say? How long do you think this been going on? Like before you, us, bro. Like I mean, before our normal society. Like, bro, you've heard the stories of like Atlantis and like the lost those uh, city, bro. No, that's a real like tale, bro. Of like, there's like the old other city getting drowned. Yeah, bro. That's like a that's like a that's like a real like uh, story based off of like indigenous people talking about it. You gonna handle that, Marlon? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Um, 
I, I, I don't really know. They said we've explored I more mean, of our galaxy than we have our oceans. More of our galaxy than we have our oceans? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if there's aliens. I don't know if there's people in the sea. But honestly, I don't really be... I wouldn't really care if there was. You would. Like, some people are intrigued by that. I'm kind of like, oh, cool. But I will say this. I do want to go to space one day. For that sure. That has nothing to do with underwater, what you just said, though. So It does, though, which you just don't even think it does, but it does. That was a Sammy Watkins statement. He's a very... Uh, we got to get Sammy on here. He's <laughs> very interesting guy. Yeah, yeah we got to get Sammy My Watkins boy on Sammy here. knows exactly what I'm saying. If he's listening um, right now, he's shaking his head in agreement. No, because Sammy, that, that, that agreement is... So, so do y'all know how everything got named, or do y'all believe how? It, I believe so, the Bible. Do you? So you know how everything got named? Uh, you know, named? Who named all? No, the I don't Adam, know. Adam. Okay. He, he named it all. Yeah, he, he would name the thing. It. Yeah. What that is? Sir. He <laughs> named. He, <laughs> what that is? Apple. And the last Fruit? thing he uh, named was a woman, right? I ain't even know that. <laughs> but, but but oh wait, God. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. first he had to be a um a farmer before he got a wife. So he had to farm to show God he could take care of this farm Ooh. before he could get a wife. But mm. saying all that to say is, I don't, if it was another species, uh, just as much as if we knew it, we'll be trying to get to them much as they'll be trying to get to us. So that's why for me, I don't think that it's another species out uh, because we would have been found by now. You don't think we have been? No, but we haven't found a lot though. Because we, we, we can't because you know why? God didn't make us there to find it. Oh. And not only that, he said, oh, Bobby, thought, that he what you're said going? Wait, what um, would you say? I didn't, know, I didn't, know. I didn't <laughs> make it for us to find it. He said, um, <laughs> don't misquote me. I have to ask um, Johnny, uh, Mr. We Shelton. need to get Johnny but on He it. said, he, God said this. He said, no man will be able to search out the land or the earth. I can't. I can't really say it how I want to say it because even though I'm on it, and that's why we we quote. We can quote it here. We can quote it here. No man would would be able to search out how big the land is, like how big the earth is, and, and all the things that he put in the earth. Meaning that we only limited to, to certain things. That's what God said. Can't know everything. We can't. We definitely this can't. in Genesis. Nah, this this in the Old Testament though, because it was talking about. Um, we was arguing about whether if the earth around the flat, and I'm like, what you believe? <laughs> See, this is the type believe, of stuff you can talk. This is what I mean. You I think believe that don't, don't, I don't I don't I believe that really don't matter, but if you was to ask me, I only could believe what I see and what I see is flat. It's flat. Shut the hell up. But See, bro, this is the type of stuff that I've been trying to get for you to talk about. I couldn't think I don't know how it's round, but it is, they say. It's, it's round only for round sure. Off a picture. When people take a picture but of bro, it. But bro, they be going to space though. People, people, if it was flat, you would fall off. People go to space. If it was round, what what, what, what would people do? You'd be stumbling. We'd be falling right now. Wait, but people go to space. People go to space and they look at that. Like normal people have gone to space and seen it. How many Star Wars movies you seen? All of them. How many look like they went to space for real, for real? Who? How many of them, it looked like that they was actually in space, meaning something that could be created with a delusion. Yes, bro. I'm talking you about Star Wars? you can't create someone. I have, but I'm just saying, like, when you watch certain movies, they could show you the moon. No, I'm talking about people like and themselves real, on real. their personal. Real. No, I agree. Like us looking at a screen, obviously. But I'm saying people themselves have gone into the ship, gone like normal civilians. I agree. And I'm come not, back down. I'm not disagreeing with that, but I'm saying like. They go all the way up. I don't know how far they go up and look down and see this big round ball. That don't mean that they say it's round. I mean, just it could be just as flat as round. You looking down at it. So, therefore, if I'm up there, like, no telling how far I could go and look down at this table. This table might be round, even though it's not. Or, say, I might not see this part. Mm. I see this. It looks just straight flat. I know what you're saying. You're saying there's layers to it. I, I really do. I, I don't really think that we could just ask room and say... Oh, the, the, the earth is round Like I don't know I feel like I mean round as a circle Of course Around that <laughs> What do you know that? I just Bro right, It's an interesting it, conversation It, it is it, bro I look <laughs> I see what he's saying though Like It's I believe it is round A sphere But how is it round I don't know I don't know how it's round You know I what I mean But it is But it's but supposed to be round, round. All your life Just like we gotta talk Jesus is the right way All our life True But What if it's not true though 
I believe it's true because I believe in the Bible, of course. But all I know is this. Eve ruined men, bro. Eve did? No, Eve didn't ruin men. It was the Eve, the serpent, bro. No, it wasn't the serpent. Ruined us, bro. Who no, was it? Wasn't. It Adam was Adam? Ruined us. Yeah. No, nah, bro. What Adam did? did do it. Adam did do it. But he was deceived. Uh, he was deceived. deceived. He went deceived. He was deceived. He was bro. deceived. How you deceived when you got told before anybody on this earth? Uh-huh. He was deceived. Before bro. anybody touched the earth, I yeah. told him, don't you eat from the Yes, bro. He was deceived. She told him this was he asked her, he said, Is this from the sacred tree? And she said, No. But he don't want he know what he knew where that was from because bro, he, he was deceived. How you know? He, How you know? How you know he knew the apples? Because how you didn't know that what this apple is from the sacred? When they ever ate an apple? They probably never ate an apple in their life. Bro, no, bro, Adam's a... been eating apples, bro. Way before Eve got there, he's been eating hella apples. Where he, where he eating it from? I'm pretty sure there's hella other trees. Oh, no, but it was it was it was it was it was hella trees. <laughs> Same looking apples. But I'm pretty sure this apple looked it a little nah, different. Nah, bro. Than <laughs> <this regular laughs> apple he where did they say that? not say this about the apple? Maybe looking this different, was a green bro. apple instead no. of red. Apple. <laughs> no, no, bro, no, no. <laughs> Bro, but what you were saying about like humans aren't supposed to know everything, bro. That's a that's a curious thing. I, I'm I always think about that. Like, are we meant to know more? Because, or are, are we meant to kind of always be kind of oblivious to what what else is out there in the universe? But I do believe, like you're saying, like if people if if other species were out there, they would have found us. I do think they they found us like long ago, bro. Like I do think, you like think the we've been, we would have found them by now. No, because we don't have the, the capabilities. We can't even explore our own oceans on our own world, bro. That's because that's how God created. Just like we can't, bro. Go but that's all my way. that's my point, bro. That's my point. So the same God that created us created them. You know what I'm saying? Su-woo. He's the God of everything. Su-woo. So He gave them that technology. Okay, just okay. like you're saying, we don't have it, but some other people can. He said, "Our mankind won't have this," but doesn't mean some other species can't have it. We're then limited. They, then they'll be then they'll be more smarter and dominant than us. Which they God, are. No, God say He made us in His kind. We are the most dominant species He ever. Created. He didn't say that. He say we he made said we made us in His image. Yes, but doesn't mean we're the only ones made in His image. But we do. He created us way different and unique than any other thing. That but we. Ever got but created. I think that's just like a human way to think because we're the only species. That, we're the predator species like of our planet. So we think like. We're the alpha of every single species out there, but we don't know if we're really. We're. I still think we're made I never in his think image. No smarter than us. No, I still think we're made in his image, but I. But bro, I'm saying like there's probably species here that's been here millions of years longer than human species, like in other planets. Like we're not like the beginning of all species. Why? Why do you? Because this, this is what I'm curious. About. Why do you let your mind wander that? <laughs> Because I God made me like that, bro. God gave you the the no God the don't gift, want to be like that. Actually. The God God gave you the gift of free thought. He gave you the gift free, to yeah. to to think about other things that you may not have ever seen before. Just like the Earth being flat. Why does your mind go there? I could ask you the same thing. Because I read the Bible and it said that not no man on Earth knows the size, the length. I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna text it to you. You gotta text it, but I'm it, saying it's it the same thing. It like it don't, it don't. No man know the size, the length of of Earth. Like, but no man that. knows the size, length of the universe. You're talking about Earth. I'm talking about the entire universe, but, which is uneven, fathomable to you to even think of how big it is, and to say we're the only things here and been here the longest. So you think our planet's exists. not even, huh? Dinosaurs existed. Yeah. Dinosaurs exist. I don't even know, bro. I, what? I'm not my sure buddy had the same exact theory, bro. But see, I think was, I'm not even bro, sure so about. Where, di- where I, I just you? don't know what I don't even know about dinosaurs. I haven't really. Even. So do you think like the fossils are just kind of like made up? I don't know. I, I don't know anything well, about dinosaurs. Your, All I've seen is Jurassic Park. So, but you know, you've seen like museums and you've seen like the big fossils that they yeah. put up. But I don't know the time. Like this all that happened at this all I know. Oh, you're saying okay. okay I'm not okay. one of those guys. Like, kind of similar what. Not really what Fee just said, but kind of. I'm one of them guys that like the timeline of the Bible is how I see it. If dinosaurs was before that, then I don't believe that. But if dinosaurs was up in there, I don't know when dinosaurs was. But I do know animals was once here, like that was back in them days, that ain't here no more. People was living to what, 500 years and stuff like that. Today, you can't clearly can't do that no that more. That was a covenant. I mean, wait, you believe in dinosaurs? What, that uh, people lived to 500 years old? No, I said dinosaurs. Oh, no, I don't believe in dinosaurs. Was dinosaurs 
I don't even know. Prehistoric. They're pre. I don't, I don't they're believe they're pre. Though. Like man, though. But 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 here's a here's one of the issues I've always had, and because I'm a believer in the Bible as well. See, I'm I a big even, believer. But my I issue. Care of stuff. My issue is we are not as like a common society as like normal people. We are not given the whole story. And if you think you are given every story that the elders of like the Vatican and like the Catholic church have of like the actual sacred papers and the scripts and like all of the, the, uh, the books, if you think you're given everything, bro, I think that's, that's naive to think that they're going to give all that information to us. There's a book of Jesus that has been like discovered, but we don't know about it. There's a book of Judas that's been discovered that we don't know about. Bro, you, that you, your story. But I'm saying Judas like to is, think wow. that like us. His story about Judas. His story but, about no, Judas. No, no, I'm, I'm saying there's a book. That, though. There's literally a book of Judas. You can, Kevin, Google this book of Judas and yeah, read me exactly what it Judas. says. But I'm saying story, there's wow. literally books that we don't know about as a normal society. We're limited to what the people who would just pretty much, I don't know, the leaders of the church, whoever holds those uh, sacred scripts, you know, that have, that the, our Bible is based out of, they are not giving us everything. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not convinced. But that, that's that's just in the same as in you pray and sometimes you know we'll know. But I'm saying I'm saying to say that the I'm saying to say that I'm though. saying to say yeah. that the Bible that yeah. we have is like the sacred. It, I'm saying it's part of it, but it's not the whole thing. I'm saying you can't base everything off of a partial understanding. But I believe, I believe when it's withheld from uh, normal. The, Society. The Bible is enough to get us where we need to be. At the end. Amen. That's, that's, that's what I, I think. Believe. Okay, Amen. that's a, that's a, nah, that's part of it. But dude, I'm go ahead. reason why I think God don't want why He took all these different pages from different people because He knew a lot. He of didn't do that. Handle. People did that. People took it away First from of people. All, people ain't did nothing. God allowed them to do that. So that's why I say God did. Okay, that. but people, he gave us free choice. Like he gives you a choice. You could murder me right now yeah, if you wanted to. You know what I'm took saying? Away the whole Bible, but he ain't allowed them. That's my point. Like he he only allowed them to take away certain things. That's what I'm saying. Like right, I'm not but, disagreeing with you saying that people didn't do it. Mm -hmm. People did it, but I still think he allowed them to take away certain pages from the Bible. Do you think they'll ever come back? Do you think he's going to allow them to come back out? They, he, or do you think it'll always be withheld from I, us? I think it's going to be withheld because I think the, the power that he got in the, the Holy Bible now is all the power he needs to get to his people. Because you got to always remember, all people ain't God people. Oh, you gotta for sure. You got to always remember that. So the, 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 the books that he got in the Holy Bible now, I think is enough to get to his people to get them where they need to go, where they won't burn if you believe in heaven and hell, where they won't burn at the end no, of the I, No, I agree with that. But I also say that I think... Like what I'm talking about, like the whole story. I think it'll eventually come out. Like people will eventually know. It probably won't be in our lifetime, you know, hopefully in our kids, grandkids' lifetime. But I think it's, I think when people, and like we're talking about this now, I think it's hard to imagine like something like more information about life and stuff coming out after we're, we've passed or we've gone. Everyone kind of wants like everything to be known within like their lifetime. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all the answers to kind of be like, we know everything and it's kind of going to be like this. But I feel like in the future, there's going to be more information. Because did you, Kevin, did you look up, read, yeah, so, read what it says, please. Um, so it was rediscovered in 1983, but it wasn't public knowledge until 2004 when they publicly came out and said, oh, by the way, we found this book in 83. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Um, this was like an old script, like written yeah. on old paper. Yeah, like. and there's only there's only three fourths of it complete. Um, it's kind of ripped up and in pieces. Right, the big book of who? Judas, the and, one who portrayed Jesus. Yes, exactly, and it's a whole different account of what that story was. But this is my point: it's impossible for us to know that if those stories are withheld from us because of people's choices. So my point is, like, as a believer, I believe in all this stuff, but I also am like. I know that people are withholding other information from us. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, I know everything. I'm basing it off of this. And this is it all. I, I, I go, no one knows it all. No one knows it all. But I go, I believe in the Bible and like the, but I believe that there's more to this that we're, we're not given. And I may not ever know in my lifetime and I'm okay with that, but at least I'm going to have to like, I'm going to still have to tell myself, Hey, there's still more out there. And that's why I asked the question. Why can't you just believe in what you have? Because I just told you, there's books literally coming out years later after but it's discovered. Why, why don't you believe what you have, and then if they come out, then 
because that's proven to me because when a book comes out where they say they discover something 30 years before and they said, hey, we're going to tell you about it now. That's that's proof. So do you think that's holding back you believing in what you have? If you're No, I do believe in it. I believe in this, but but there's more 20 years. No, but there's more and there's this is proof. Well, you, it, it, you would really, like, it would be different. It would be different if this didn't though. happen. And so, or something see, like this. Really this is water out of what side I have out of what what I have. Like I understand we're two different people clearly. Like I don't be like oh man, like there's aliens out there like I I really like the Bible I believe in what is there. Like when people be like dinosaurs like I've never really thought are dinosaurs real or dinosaurs fake. I just like oh someone said there's dinosaurs and this is a dinosaur. I'm like Cool. Like, I don't really. I, I'm not like banking on like not even banking on. You're just but, not worried about it. Yeah, I'm just not worried about it. Yeah, but a lot yeah. of people are. I don't know if people. I don't to, think like, people know. are like worried. I think like a lot people of people like know myself. More. Yeah, they, we just want to know more about like humanity and like I just want to know more about like you know, like we're saying just about Christianity and but, like I just want to know more about it. And I that, I think I think it's kind of counterintuitive to not want to want to learn more and to just kind of be like, okay, this is it. This is all I know. And I'm just going to stick with this. I think we should always be trying to learn more about God and Christianity and religion and where we come from, how we're made in his image. If we're the only ones made in his image, like how we all fit in, because I do feel like, I do feel like there's a bunch of different species, but I'll also feel like it's from the same God. You know what I mean? Like the God of us is the same God as in different species. There's only one God of the whole universe. But to, to say that is means like there's so, so much I don't understand about, you know, how that all ties together. But I do know there's one God. But, but you know, the only thing, it's, it's so crazy because it's even hard for me to say this. The only thing we're supposed to understand is um, um, getting disciples. Like, Cause we can't understand each other because we're humans. We made totally different. We structured totally different. So that's why people always be like, I don't understand this. We're not made to understand each other. You don't thing- think so? You don't think eventually as a social society, no. like even in the past hundred years, I think we've like grown as a Which society. We understand each other though. Like, like if like, you got a wife, you married, when she do certain things and you don't understand it, it was never meant for you to understand it. Like basically, that's you can never know somebody, right? One hundred percent. I know what you mean by that. Like, yeah, we was but not, you should know your your wife. But you should be. But we should be I as a, a people be able to like communicate and like come to solutions. Like just say, just say if you know them and they hold something in, and then all of a sudden they they, they bust it out in front of somebody, and you be sitting there like, I don't even understand why she even did this or he. And all the thing you got to always go back to like it ain't meant for us to understand each other like. It's even hard for us to stay in the house with somebody. Like, that's just real. Like, if you got your spouse that's different because you could cover up with sex or whatever, but, like, if you got just a girlfriend, uh, let's just say a friend, a guy friend, like, if he get in your way, like, sometimes you you might not say it out loud to him or whatever, but you'll get agitated. You'll never understand why he, he like, making you mad or she making you mad. It's because, like, you're not understanding. They vibe and they not understanding your vibe. Like, as humans, bro... How we was, I think how we was programmed was for us to just guide each other in different ways for as um, leading us to God. Because if we try to lead each other any way else, I might get like a daisy. Because the only person who can control us is, is besides ourselves is God, to tell you the truth. So like if we say we in football, I can get frustrated at somebody with football just because I can't get to that person. But if we doing something like or as Bible or biblical, I might not get as, this is me personally, I might not get as frustrated because I might be like, God, just give me the strength or give him the strength to heal me or maybe you could explain it to him in a better way. Instead of football, I can't be like, God, uh, help me help him play football. Like I might get more frustrated because, and I'm just using that example, but um, I really think that we not meant to understand each other as humans. And I think that's why a lot of us bump heads we always get mad at each other. I think because we don't, we don't know how to communicate. Like as a, like we're terrible. We don't know how to communicate because I think we don't know each other. Right, we're not meant to understand each but other. But I think like if we could communicate, and I think sports is a great way of like forcing that. You know what I mean? Like, do you agree? Like, you have to like communicate with the guy playing next to you, whether you, yeah. whether you, if you don't really like no. the guy, like you have to communicate and and find a way to like talk to where you understand something right now. But then, if he make this one move, 
and you ask him, and he might be like, I seen this, and you might be like, I don't understand how you seen that. But that's what I'm saying. That's where the communication, where you talk about it, you see more of what he's seeing, and then you understand, okay, he saw that. That's why he did that. So when he sees this or when you see that, it, it only gets better and better the more you talk, but it never gets better if you don't, like, communication doesn't, like, happen. And I feel like that's a big barrier of why we don't understand well, each I other. Got, I got an example for you. Yeah. Shit, Jesus communicated to Jews the whole, what, how many years they was together? Six years? I don't know. When he first appeared to when he died. And Jesus still didn't understand. Well, he knew he was going to do it, but nobody understood why he did it, even though you knew who I am. But do you know what's the Jesus crazy part? Jesus was announcing that someone was going to betray yeah, him. Yeah, he knew. Talking about Jesus, that's what I'm saying. Jesus knew about it. He knew. And he told everybody else, because he understand everybody, right? Right, right. Uh, but nobody, like, even when he told Paul, whoever, he was like, you're going to deny me three times before whatever. I don't, I can't quote everything. Right, right, right. 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 And he did. He, he, he denied yeah, him. Yeah. And he probably he looked at himself it. was like, damn, I don't need it. And people looking like, damn, God said that. I don't understand how you did it, even though we told you you was going to do but, it. But that's different, though, because you're. You, no, you're I'm just putting it as in like we don't we were meant to understand each other. But, I, but I don't, you, have you ever heard to the, the story of Judas and because uh, like he st even though we knew he was going to do it, we still ain't understand why we why he did it. They said it because of money and everything. I don't believe it was because of money. But that's why. But you know what's funny though is like the whole this whole book of Judas is like explaining the answer of what you're talking about. But you why never, did it. yeah, but you never knew about it because they never released that information. It Guess was, what it says. He was he was one of them before he became the no bro he was the devil no Judas had a Judas literally knew he had to do this Jesus had to talk him into doing this bro Jesus Judas did not not want to do this he that's didn't what, know that's what I was that's, talking about that's, I don't believe that at all he doesn't believe this but this is this book that we were just talking about that they discovered not too long ago about ten years ago this is what this book says. It, it's yeah, an account of of Jesus telling Judas that you're gonna have to betray me, and Judas saying, "No, I'm not gonna do this." Yeah, because he 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 was in the nah. He did that's not what I'm saying, bro. But in the but you know in the in the Bible in the normal account of the Bible, it doesn't it doesn't portray Judas as like not understanding. It doesn't it doesn't portray Judas as Jesus didn't come up to Judas in the normal Bible and say, "Hey, you're gonna do this." Like J Judas just did this. Jesus knew about. it. He never said anything. No, he said that one of y'all gonna betray me, but he never said he never went to Judas and was. Yeah, like, Yes, yes, he never would be the one. Right, right. Yeah, I, I get. You no, know what I'm this, saying? But I'm saying, saying this. This and um, wait, wait. This would, this account is saying that he actually went up to him and say, "You have to be the one to do it." And Judas was trying to I, deny I, I, it. I could I could believe that not only by just reading that book because what a man doing a thousand years, God. Well, what a man doing one day. Well, what God doing one day, it take a man a thousand years to do it. So he had already planned that anyways. He planned to come back and enter. In a, a human being flesh. Right, God right, right. That was so he already planned it. So I could believe that without reading it. But, but I'm saying you wouldn't time, even you wouldn't even think about that being a truth if like something like that wasn't released to us. If I didn't, if, if he didn't, if he well, didn't read, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's it's hard to say that we know everything because right now we just got one book from Judas, and one of many we maybe don't know about that is telling us an account of something that is answering your question right now. That's why it's important to wonder about these things, I feel like. That makes no sense. All right, Marlon Humphrey and Guru, I got one more, I mean, time for one more question if y'all need me. Wait, what was, do you want to say? Because I got a massage. The yet. question is this, when's the last time your best fight story, and we're going to call it a wrap. <laughs> why do you love fight stories? This story? is my favorite quote. This is my favorite why, question. Why do you love this fight favorite, stories? Because they're always entertaining, bro. You either lost, you either won. But I mean, you, obviously you, you, you won. can get a one you won, bro. You can get a one you won. I know you didn't lost a couple. <laughs> oh. But you can get a one well, you won. I, I lost a couple when I before was the See, See, that's that's a guy that's Before honest. the growth spurt. Before the growth spurt. That's a guy that's yeah, honest. Before easy. the growth spurt. Right. Uh, well, you got the growth spurt. Give us one you lost and give us one you won. But they had to train me like, I got I got, I got whooped. I was in the project, What position? You give, play us, before give, us the one of, give us one of both. Oh, uh, center and, and nose guard. Oh gosh, you was a center. Um, Jensen. I go to you play with Ryan Jensen. You play with yes. Ryan Jensen. Yeah, I had to tap off in his ass one time. Bro, come on, hurry up. Give, 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 give us a loss. Give us a win. Um, me and him fought like within. We fought five plays in a row. Then really. Hold Not on. on the field, a real life fight. Wait, at camp? Outside of field. Right. You got helmets on. Shoon did. In camp? God, this happened in camp? Fee, this happened in camp? 
No, it was yeah, doing count. We okay. fought five plays in a row. They actually moved the practice up and let us kept fighting. Like we just was fighting because Jensen was a was a a hole, and I was Jensen a, really was. I was, was funny, like, though. this our defense. We ain't finna let no young buck come in here and just throw all us around because he was doing it. But outside of football, shit, my lord. Last time I fought outside of football, I was in a. Eighth grade. After that, we was getting shot at. Like, <laughs> plies came. Uh, tell us the story. We need the story. Okay, and so then we, we out of here. We in. He from the project where my cousin from. I'm not gonna say his name because he might see it, and then I might have to see him again and knock him out again. But I already told the story. He from from, from the project. I'm from another project. I ain't really cared about the beef of the project, so I'm just chilling in there one day. And we just vibing and the dude just was talking and I was bad. Like this one time I had got suspended 21 times from school. Mm. Should have got kicked out of school, but I didn't. But 21, I, that's I, yeah. a lot. Yeah, I was raised around a lot of women. So I, I was thriving for attention. Like once I go to, like once I get to school and I ain't had the best clothes, it was like I was like thriving for attention. Like, But anyway, we sitting in ISS. We was in ISS. He just went to modern off. But he went talking to me and I just... I was just was bad and I just wanted to fight. And I just looked up to him and say, say something about my uncle. So You said that? Yeah. So back in the day, <laughs> you know, when somebody died, somebody say something about somebody who died, you fight them. Uh-huh. So I was just trying to find a way to fight somebody to get suspended, get kicked out of school. Oh, so you so told him you wanted to get out of school. It. Yeah. So you was the the Judas, Book of Judas nah, I version. Of Judas. <laughs> I just I just I just was just needed attention. I was just bad, but I wasn't even that bad. But anyway, he said, your uncle. And I just got off on and stole him. Bam. Think, 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 pop, pop. I actually hit him once. He, he dropped. He balled up. Yeah, that's, I ain't have no interest. I had some shootouts. Oh, Marty, you want to hit me? <laughs> <laughs> I had at least two of them, right? Guys, we do not promote that type of violence. We grew up, I know I always want to act on the spot. Guys, we appreciate <laughs> that you guys. That's school, though. Uh, yeah, bro. That's worse. Anyway, Back guys, we day, appreciate bro. y'all for tuning in bro. with us. <laughs> Pernell McPhee is a very interesting man. Pernell, do you have anything else to say, comments, thoughts, and or concerns? Man, just know that that, that Marlon is a great guy. Got them. Randy Staley is a great guy. And I wish these boys plenty of success. And for me, it's actually an honor to be in y'all boys present Y'all would never believe that Guru but punch baby I'm just gonna keep it real And that's all folks We love you Fee yeah, We you love you too. I gotta get to this massage Guys right, Fee's boy. gotta get a massage right. As we close out Alright Guys let me leave y'all with this Let me leave y'all yeah. with this man Don't say that crazy Let me leave y'all with this man Be right. you Be you Alright <laughs> Be freaking Be you, you. Be you true Nah, you straight, you straight. Be you, be true. Be, yes. And we're going to have Ronnie close us out. You know, thank you guys for uh, listening to our podcast. <clears throat> Come back next week. Please do. We'll be here at the same time, same place. Kevin, <laughs> we'll have a great story for you next time. Oh, wait, we wait, promise. wait. Once before we go, Kevin, what's a belief that uh, you have that most don't? Uh, <clears throat> everything happens for a reason. No mm. matter how bad it is, it's there Such for a reason. Such a lame one. Mm. Everyone believes oh, that, hey, Kevin. Oh, yes. Guys, we're out. Oh, let's go. Uh, all right. Thank you guys. Bye.